He I'll actually fits on the Beamer. We good, baby. What's up? This Donkey Kong 3 right here. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today I decided that I need to get a new car. The reason why is the 350Z is gonna be under construction for like the rest of the year. I'm not gonna be able to daily it or drive it. I came to visit my boys over here at BMW in Riverside. We're gonna take a look at a few cars today. We got the M7. We have the inside. This is crazy. The screens are huge. This is an M2. It's pretty clean. This is an M6. That M6 might be a little bit out of my price range. Look what we got here. If you guys don't know, Brian actually used to own an i8 and he got rid of it because we wanted to focus more on project cars. He got the RX-7. Look at this beauty. I'm sure he kind of regrets it. <laughs> this thing is so nice. The thing about exotic cars is you can't really do too much to it. I'm always liking the cleaner look better. I've been thinking that maybe I should go with a new 4 Series, the Coupe. kind of want to go with white. I usually get black cars, but I think I want to get white this time. I love BMWs because they have that red interior. I used to have a Mercedes. They don't really come with red interior. BMWs do. So let's get this finance done. Yeah. It's yeah. official, guys. So it's pretty cool. Right now they're getting the general manager to actually help me out because I'm from Tunin, Tokyo. That's one cool thing about having a lot of followers on Instagram. One thing I've noticed is that I've been in and out of cars my entire life. I've owned over 10, 12 cars maybe. Dude, it's raining out of nowhere. Have you guys noticed that the weather in California is so bipolar? One day it's fucking winter and then tomorrow it's summer. This shit is a trip. And it's like boring. I'm sacrificing my camera right now for you guys. Walking around like a lunatic holding a camera in the middle of the rain. So right now I've been just searching for the one car that I think catches my attention. Ooh, this M4. Kind of feeling it. I like that black rooftop too. You guys are probably wondering by now why am I here at BMW? There's quite a few reasons. One, I like to keep my project cars strictly JDM only. As far as a clean, simple, a luxury type of look, I always go with like Mercedes or BMW. I'm an all out car enthusiast. That means I love all cars, American, German, and of course my favorite JDM. I know most of you are wishing I was at Subaru or Mitsubishi getting an Evo. I'm gonna save those beautiful cars for maybe later on in life when I'm actually doing something to them. Damn, check out my boy's M3, guys. Woo! 2018. He's gonna go take me on a quick spin. Might trying to convince me to get me an M3. I don't know. We'll see. Damn, you already got your shit tinted too. Yeah. Limo tint with the red interior. Clean. Oh, I love that sound. It's a little rainy right yeah, now, but not, not the optimal condition. Yeah. Oh. Follow my boy Bougie M3. <laughs> After a couple hours, I ended up making my decision, going back and forth negotiating, and I ended up working out a pretty great deal. I'm about to show you guys the car I chose right now. This was actually the last 4 Series in white with the red interior. Check her out, guys. I might have plans for this. I don't know yet. Check out the inside. Dude, the inside is beautiful. It's like completely murdered out red. Shout out to my boy over here. My name is Ross. I work here as a sales advisor. Come on down, I'll hook you guys up. Make sure you guys come down to BMW of Riverside. Talk to my boy Ross over here. He'll take care of you. He also drives that dope M3. So thank you for taking me out on Anytime. a spin. I'm really stoked about this car. I actually can envision a lot of things already, like a black rooftop. The headlights are already like black housing. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh shit. Okay, yeah. never mind. Definitely side mirror is black for sure. Get some wheels, lower it maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, this thing is so clean. Look at this. 
Ah, right, brother, thank you. I'm so stoked on this. Dude, it's raining like crazy right now in Cali. Anyways, I just got back to the shop. Check out my beautiful cars. I can't wait to see how my cars are gonna look like in a few months. Let's bring in the 350Z inside. Turn this baby on. Fucking Geo's the tallest motherfucker ever. Look at this guy. He's only struggling. I know, bro. I know. He I'll actually fits else. in the Beamer. Fuck. A little, little tight squeeze, right? We good, baby. What's up? <laughs> this is Donkey Kong 3 right here. <laughs> we just got back from lunch. And I'm going to go ahead and let Ivan take over for the rest of this vlog. I believe he's going to be installing a reverse bar slash third brake light on the FRS. You guys get to see that cool stuff. I think it's kind of funny how we're all on like the same level of progression on all of our cars. It's going to be cool seeing all of our builds like three months from now. Hopefully we can get them at least show ready for our first car show in March. March. Anyways, that's enough of me. I'm gonna let Ivan take over right now. What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be installing the fourth or the third brake light. I don't know, but I bought a reverse brake light bar for my FRS because the OEM one is pretty ugly. I bought this at 86 speed for about 100 bucks. Like 100 bucks cheaper than the Valencia ones. But let me show you guys what I got. Ta-da! Pretty. The quality is really nice. So I'm gonna be installing that today. And also with that, I'm gonna be installing module, a blinking light module. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and head to Harbor Freight, pick up some connectors so I can get this wired up tonight. All right guys, so I'm at Harbor Freight. I'm trying to go ahead and find these connectors. I Gonna need some 10 to 22 gauge butt connectors. These are handy. Just got back from Harbor Freight. I went ahead and took everything out of my trunk. I'm guessing this is plug and play. This harness. It comes with this extra harness, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to tap into the driver tail lights for the brake light and some other electrical stuff. I came with hardware. I'm not a fan of these plugs. I don't know if you can see it on camera. They basically snap and they, I guess, splice into the wiring to make the contact. I would much rather cut the wire and then use butt connectors or a soldering iron, you know, do it legit. We'll see how it goes and wish me luck. First things first, I take off this plastic piece here. There's three plastic connectors that go one, two, can't get it on camera. But three are the pop-off clips. I'm gonna actually use a tool that's made specifically for these pop-off clips. It will make your life so much easier. And this is way easier to use than a Phillips, you know, flathead screwdriver. Next up, you need to find this plug here, which runs all the way down to the back. And then it goes in this garment, which then leads all the way down to your OEM brake light. So you gotta make sure you unplug this, follow that through and remove it because gonna be using the harness that did come with the new brake light. Here's an update, I removed the original wiring harness. Here's the new wiring harness right here. Here's the new plug. Routed it all the way back down to where it should go, right here. Now I need to go ahead and remove the original light bar, which there's uh, two pop clips, one on the left side, one on the right side over there. This clip right here that holds it in the center. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts up on top. This is taking way longer than I expected. Remember, I got the new wiring harness set up. I just got done installing the new brake light. So I just had to plug in the harness inside the trunk, plug this in, and then figure out what wires I need to tap to to get this fully functional. It looks way better than the OEM one. So much nicer. This wiring thing is a mess. It's not plug and play. It's kind of a little bit more complex than that. I'm going to go ahead and try to give you guys some more descriptive details as to how to go about this. This here connection, it has this third blue wire actually in here but I just used the pick and remove this as far as I know I'm um, obviously make this longer this taps into the green wire from the harness for the driver's side tail light so tap into it in here the brown wire here at the market harness for the brake light this brown wire taps into the red signal wire for the brake light I know it's confusing I'll show you guys how I wire it after I'm done and hopefully I don't fuck it up let's give it a shot I just got done wiring the brake light it took way longer than I expected it's already dark out that's my light right now I just took my time wiring it because I really wanted it legit not ghetto and half-assed this is the end result let me see if I can focus here it's pretty bright there's your reverse lights that light bar that goes across that's the running light obviously the red LEDs in the top center that would be your brake light I also didn't have enough time to install the blinking module but do that another day love the end result this is far much better than the OEM light bar for sure Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. 